Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where I just fired up the game here and the question is when are we going to get this graduated taxation passed right because we really really need the finances from this there's no doubt about that we're building up our debt very quickly and we are paying a lot in interest right now so hopefully this passes pretty soon also hopefully that we manage to get these troops to the front here pretty soon 32 days, 45 days, 11 days. Yeah, that's not too bad, all things considered. So we're working on getting there, and of course we're working on controlling the front properly. The question is, when is this actually... Wait, what? Hang on. The front is gone? Wait. We just took this over. We were losing the battle here previously, right? Uh-huh. Um, I feel like I'm... Yeah, I, I'm going to reload this. I want to see what happened here. I was looking up over here because that's where the, the game defaulted us to. But real quick here, I will be back in just a moment. That was the wrong button. I wanted to pause the recording, not unpause the game. <laughs> okay, so here we are with the game freshly reloaded. We're looking at the North China HQ here. I haven't touched anything. So... What do we have going on here? There's something... Okay. So we're at 88% here. They've got 143. Our troops are on the way in. We do have a, a numbers advantage over them. Okay. Wait, there's just zero here with one defense and one defense. Zero and zero. I feel like this is a bug, and I feel like this is actually a pretty major bug. It would have taken us a fair amount of time to work through this. Because we were losing this battle, I remember. At the end of last episode, we were losing this battle because we were still waiting for our offense to tick up. So I think that this is one of those the game needs to refresh itself bugs because it isn't displaying correctly when we first load it up. That happens pretty regularly and we need to, to, to run the game forward to get it to update everything. But I think in this case, because it's at zero, I think we instantly win this and we get control of Portuguese Guangdong immediately. I think that's what happens here. Yes. We instantly win this because they're at zero, zero. Mmm, that feels like a big bug, actually. So, what does that do? A lot. Now they have to land on our territory. They have no choice. They have to beat us in the Navy, which they cannot do. We know that they can't land on our territory. What can we possibly do about the bug, though? Because the other save would be an auto save at the beginning of the year, but I'm not sure if that even still exists. It should, but that might have the same problem. I can investigate it. I'll be right back. Okay, having investigated it, we have an autosave in Victoria at the first of every month, which is a little bit different, but actually I went through all of them, including the exit autosave that is made. They all have the same issue. At least going back until before the battle. I suppose we could restart the war, but... I don't know about going back that far. I mean, we're close to the end of the game. We're going to win this war ultimately anyway. This is a matter of time. The reason that the time matters here is because of the Boxer Rebellion. Getting out of this war faster, getting this occupied, gives us a lot more leeway for the Boxer Rebellion. So that's the reason why I don't really like this situation. I think I'll accept it. Because it's a bug, right? <laughs> I mean, this is clearly a bug. Fixing the bug would cost us quite a lot. We may have to fight the Boxer Rebellion if we fix the bug. I mean, arguably, that would be a good thing. Arguably, that would be a good thing. The question is, if we go back, do we get the movement to enact graduated taxation? Losing that would be what would be truly painful. 
and that's random. So I think that we probably wouldn't get the movement to enact graduated taxation. So with that in mind, maybe we could estimate how long we think it would take us to conquer this piece of Portugal here. Hmm. Potentially. I think for now I'm going to tick forward. I will think about reverting back. I did make a save on one of the earlier autosaves, so we can revert back if we choose to. But I don't know if we do choose to. Mostly because of this graduated taxation movement. If this didn't exist, I would be kind of all in on restarting this war and redoing this because I don't like that situation. But because we can't replicate the graduated taxation movement, yeah, even if we were to put the trade unions into government, we probably wouldn't start with anywhere near this level of success from the political movement. So we can't really replicate that. So I think with that being the case, we'll tick forward here. And we'll just say, that's a bug. And maybe we'll delay our war against, against uh, Britain because of it. However, we can probably, let's see, yes, we are winning this handily. At this point, because we control the war score, or the war goal, yeah, they're losing two per week due to exhaustion. We're losing one per week. They can go below zero. But my question is, can they land on our territory? My guess is no. In which case, we should start paying off our debt. Step one, we absolutely cut our military wages, 100%. Step two, do we cut our production methods here? I think we definitely cut our field hospitals. No doubt about that. Maybe we even cut our bicycle messengers here. And then we could go down to like mobile artillery. I'm going to go whole hog here. We're going to do this. If they manage to land, yikes, uh, that would be a problem if they manage to land. But we're going to pay this down. And we currently have a rubber input goods shortage. Why would we have a rubber input goods shortage from reducing our amount of rubber? Okay, whatever. Uh, conscripts? We don't, have, we don't have conscripts raised. Cool. So I guess we'll just tick forward here. I mean, it's probably going to take a similar amount of time to end this war because we're not going to be getting the casualties now that I think about it. Yeah, I think that's going to be the case. So what do we get from this bug? What is our true benefit? If it's not a war speed benefit, which I don't actually believe it is, I think it'll be a similar-ish amount of time to finish this war. What do we actually get from this? A, we don't lose our graduated taxation political movement from restarting. That's a big benefit. But this is not, like, this is a status quo benefit, right? This is something that we have by not going back. The big benefit that we have that we would not have without this bug is the fact that we're currently spending down our debt. That's our big benefit there. The fact that we were able to lower our our military maintenance earlier. So with that in mind, that said, that would be irrelevant once graduated taxation came in. It's not here yet. So we got, depending on when this comes in, somewhere between six months and more in terms of benefit in not building up our credit. That is a big deal. That said, one thing that we would probably end up doing is cutting our welfare payments if we had to. So we could make an argument, and I mean, we're not getting rid of the welfare payments. So that transfers that from being a financial benefit into being a standard of living benefit which directly translates into a benefit of radicalism. Which is still ticking upward, but it would go up a lot faster under the alternative 
paradigm. Okay. I find it strange that it calculates the battle there before it calculates the uh, before it calculates the update to the battle. <laughs> but okay, whatever. I guess that's fine. We're working on a bunch of coal mines, of course, in the background, and we're paying this down slowly. We've got about two years on the Boxer Rebellion to get Britain. I don't know that we can get this even with this situation finished up. Now, this does give us trench works, which gives us quite a lot available for our infantry. That would be nice. Barbed wire fences is, of course, available as well. For the time being, I want to, at this point, probably work on, like... I don't feel like we need a naval tech right now. We're doing okay there. Bolt action rifles, perhaps? Sure. That seems fine. We're at 71% literacy, which is solid. That's looking good. And of course, we can go in and get our barbed wire set up for our livestock ranches. Although we have electric fences, so electric fences are actually better. Uh, we'll do something along the lines of that. Looks good. So yeah, our actual tangible benefits to this are relatively minimal. Basically, it comes down to a lesser amount of radicalism. That's what it comes down to. So when are these guys going to be interested in leaving this war? Uh, they're going to leave eventually. There's 197 reasons to not accept this. That's understood. We'll get there. And I really don't believe that they're capable of landing on our shores. We'll see. But... Stronger powers than these guys haven't managed it. So that's going to be very interesting, for sure. The real question is, are we going to pass graduated taxation here, right? If we pass graduated taxation, that's going to be a very big deal for us. Obviously, we're going to declare neutrality here. Indeed. And in terms of this peace deal, 181 reasons. 53 of those are war support. Short duration of war are 30. 104 reasons for returning Portuguese Guangdong. Sure. We need to get moving on this, of course. But we've moved almost as fast as possible on the Boxer Rebellion. It's just awkward timing that the US did the cut down to size as we were enabling the Boxer Rebellion. Like, we knew that the technology would allow it, right? So that's probably... It's, it's awkward timing, for sure. We are still a pariah, but we're going to drop down below that shortly. In just a few weeks here. So that's a good sign. And at this point, the war is just a stalemate, right? But we hold the war goal. But like I said, the, the primary benefit here of holding the war goal is one per week. And that would have built up from the casualties that they would have gotten. For sure. Especially now that we have trench infantry. Because we would have swapped over to trench infantry, and that would have been a big deal. For sure. So the question is, does graduated taxation pass here? 37.9% chance of that. We'll see. 12 days. 10 days. Any moment now. Three, two, one, zero. Taxation is theft. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that's not a great option. Not a great option at all. That puts us back into negatives. So, I mean, that offsets some of the uh, gains that we're getting from this, I suppose. Indeed it does. These coal mines cannot be built. They are, there are too many queued up. So we need to just get rid of those. I got rid of an iron mine there accidentally, I believe. I did indeed. So we're just going to queue that back up there. Unfortunately, we got rid of a lot of construction progress there. Our construction efficiency is low out in those areas still, but it's getting better. It's not great, but it's getting better. Okay, so at this point, the question is, how long until Portugal wants out of this war? It's a bit yet. We are now down to Notorious. We know that this needs to drop to, like, 96, but the Boxer Rebellion is going to be a thing. Oh, it Italy and Sweden left the war. 
Cool. That's really, really good. I'm very happy about that. Austria-Hungary is still in this war. They'll probably leave eventually, now that they know for a fact that they can't land here. With Sweden and Italy leaving the war, they definitely can't make a landing. So this seems reasonably fine. So I'm expecting Austria-Hungary to leave this war fairly soon as well. Their war support is currently at plenty, plus 26, compared to Portugal's at plus 18. We have a little bit over a year on the Boxer Rebellion. I kind of doubt that we can take this over from Britain before then, but maybe just starting the war is good enough? I doubt it, though. I'd be surprised if that was good enough. So this is going to take a while. Diplomatic play in the Himalayas. Okay, sure. We're not too interested in that at this moment. We've got other problems. Cool. So we need graduated taxation, right? That's a pretty big thing that we need here. Unfortunately, our luck hasn't been great. We're probably going to have to fight the Boxer Rebellion, which means that we don't fight Britain until after the Boxer Rebellion. Is what I'm thinking here. And honestly, content-wise, I kind of want to fight the Boxer Rebellion. I want to see what that's like. So that might not be the worst thing. We can get this away from Portugal. We fight the Boxer Rebellion. So essentially, we got very few benefits from the book, right? Because we're back negative financially, not as negative. So that is a benefit from the bug that we got. But we, we got very few benefits if we're going to have to fight the Boxer Rebellion anyway. So that's the idea here, I think. And it should be fine. These iron mines are going to finish up relatively soon. I mean, we've got a lot of additional things here for sure. But that's okay. All of that will finish up. How long do we have in our construction queue? 72 weeks, 73 weeks? Sure. Portugal is about to go negative in their war value, their war support now. Actually, Portugal would accept this. Do it. Beautiful. So that's out of here. And this state should already be cored. We shouldn't need to do an incorporate state here, but apparently we need to incorporate that state. We'll do that. That's a different state. That's not this down here. So at this point, we have 15 months on the Boxer Rebellion. Do we think that we can beat Britain in 15 months? They can probably actually land on our territory. So I think the answer to that is a definite no. Yeah. So I think what we are going to do here instead is we're just going to let this time out. We'll prepare for it. The Boxer Rebellion will happen. And I don't know what this looks like. That'll be very interesting. I kind of want to let it happen and see what, what happens there. So this is... Almost a deliberate decision here. I don't believe that we could prevent it, given the time remaining. We might be able to. But I want to see what the Boxer Rebellion looks like. So that's a deliberate decision to not go for Great Britain's remaining Hong Kong port here. A very deliberate decision. We could probably make a go of it. But we don't want to be fighting both Britain and the Boxer Rebellion. That's for sure. If graduated taxation had passed, that would have been a different story. We're minus 231 right now. We do need some taxation capacity. Quite a bit of taxation capacity, actually. So let's get all of... I don't need two here. Let's get all of these queued up. And get that underway. We do need two up here. So this is all things that need to happen, right? We need to get all of this done. This now needs to be three. And this is now four. And then this will be... That will be 60, 75. There we go. 90. So that's a lot of government administrations that need to be built. Railways, we're going to need a fair amount. Indeed. 
I'm going to build one in each of these locations. And then these are 20 each? Yes. So we need three here. We need nine here. And then here we're going to need like 15. Okay. So that's all underway. We'll get that going. And we're going to build that kind of in lieu of attacking Great Britain here. I want to see what the Boxer Rebellion looks like. So we're going to do it. We will lose 20 Fragile Unity, to be clear. To be clear. So that'll be interesting. We'll conclude the Boxley Rebellion by fighting them, is I think how we can get away with that. So that'll be good. These railways will be finishing up, well, these railways anyway, will be finishing up around the same time that our railways in, or rather, around the same time that the Boxer Rebellion starts. So that'll be good. I want to check in here. Do we still have our violent suppression going on up here? Actually, we don't. So if we do that, that will boost our construction speed here dramatically. Still only, okay, 30 weeks. There it updates. Cool. So that is definitely a dramatic increase in that construction speed. I like it. So yes, we would go after Great Britain if the graduated taxation had passed on the last tick. Unfortunately, it did not. So we're not going to be doing that. Now, to be clear, I do believe that even without this bug, we would have ended up winning this war. That was just a matter of time. I'm not sure if it would have been a little bit faster, a little bit slower to fight it the old-fashioned way. It just kind of depends on how things played out. I think to a large degree, that would be partially RNG and partially how long it took to bring our military back up to scratch after having our military turned down, right? We should move our conscripts up to trench infantry and field hospitals. Not that we're going to use conscripts right now. We're still running a deficit at this moment, but I do expect that to change relatively soon. When is our tax modifier going to go away? Four years? Okay. Fair enough. We just want this graduated taxation to pass. We want to get these railways and government administrations built. Once all of that is done, that will dramatically help our tax situation. So in theory, that will put us back to being positive. But we have paid off a little bit of the debt we built up. Now, to be clear, we are going to take Hong Kong from Great Britain before the end of the game. 100%. But I want to see what the Boxer Rebellion looks like. I don't want to be fighting Britain at that time. And this also gives our notoriety a chance to drop, which is not a bad thing either. So that looks good. And we'll see if we get graduated taxation here. We've got a 28.9% chance here. Fingers crossed on that one. If it, if it passes, that'll put us in a way better financial situation. We'll see in a moment. Oil discovered in Alxa. Okay. We'll definitely build there. Only two oil rigs. Okay. That's fine. Hey, it passed. Okay. So we're at negative 2.05 million. Is that correct? That shouldn't be correct. Okay, there we go. Plus three million. That's more like it. So we have an election coming up here. Okay, that's fine. And we also need, at this point, to turn these guys right on back up. So we're going to do that. We're going to get that going. And we can't go down to machine gunners yet, but we can go down to field hospitals. We can afford this. And look at that. We're still making one point. Okay, never mind. We're making negative one million at this level. Negative 400k. Okay. How accurate is this? Negative 200k. Oil discovered in Outer Manchuria. Spread the word. And we are going to build, of course, oil rigs out there. Beautiful. We'll get those underway. Oil discovered in Shanxi. Encourage the trend. And we will build additional oil rigs there, too. So we're kind of oil rushing at this point. Our finances are kind of fluctuating around, but they look not bad at this moment. We do have a rubber input goods shortage. No shockers there. We do have some... 
yeah, I would very much like to import some rubber from the Austro-Hungarian market now. Let's give that a go. Cool. So these railways are going to finish up, and that will help matters a lot. The dream in Outer Manchuria, huh? Plus two standard of living? Do it. So our standard of living is definitely improving a lot. That's helping our radicalism. And we're doing pretty well financially, considering our military expenditure. Now, we are running an unacceptable government right now. This would be considered a contested government. Let's wait until after the election, though. I want to see what happens with the election, and we'll just put in the max legitimacy government that we can. Would be the idea here. So we're going to have the Boxer Rebellion. That'll be a next episode sort of thing. Hopefully by the time that's done, we'll be positive financially. I think that we will. And that'll be very interesting to see what happens there. And deliberately choosing to take the Boxer Rebellion basically throws away any benefit we would have had from the bug down here. So I'm reasonably okay with this. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kintogen, Spartan News, Nix Marty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Anna the Elephant, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.